Hey guys, Mars Engen here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video, and so today we are going to talk about the Part 2 LR banners, double carnival banners, coming out on JP uh, very, very soon, Part 2 of the anniversary. You can see here, shout out to the Dokkan Info website, uh, there is a live countdown on here. Um, check it out if you uh, haven't used this website before. I'll try and remember to put the link in the description, but it's Dokkan Info, all one word, dot com. And then you can look at the schedule and it will show you a live countdown. So this is being recorded at 2 p.m. UK time. And you can see that the countdown is basically on 12 hours. It's actually a little before 2 p.m. But you can see 12 hours. So 2 a.m. UK time. Uh, that, I believe, is 6 p.m. Uh, PST. So the banner's coming out quite a bit earlier than usual. Um, I feel like for everybody who's not like me in the UK... Um, that's a much more convenient time, right? A little bit earlier on in the evening. Uh, for me, it's 2 a.m., but I'm working uh, nights at the moment. So I think by the time I get home from work, it'll be probably about two hours after this banner comes out. So I will be live streaming some summons on my JP account. But for those of you who do want to come check that out, I won't be live as soon as the banners come out. Um, very strange that they are coming out a lot earlier. But like I said, for most people, I feel like that's going to be a little bit more convenient so we'll go ahead and take a look at the banners so from what we've seen so far of course we only have the actual image of the banners uh, from the download especially because the banners are animated so these images were actually in the files quite quite early plus they did show this particular image on that live stream one thing I can confirm that they did not show, when they showed those two original images, a lot of people panicked because they showed this kind of image with just the featured units, but it basically didn't have any text on it. And so a lot of people were concerned that these banners weren't going to have 3 plus 1 multis. Because obviously remember, for the Worldwide Download Celebration, even though the banners were split, so it was one Dokkan Fest banner and one Carnival banner in both parts, they were both 3 plus 1. Whereas obviously with these part one banners this time around, we went back to the previous anniversary format where it was two Dokkan Fest LR banners, both of which had three plus one multis. And then of course in the past, the part two banner for the anniversary has not been. So we can confirm that these banners are going to be three plus one, which is good. I still think it's weird that they split them like this. Uh, I do think the worldwide celebration format is slightly better. It means that part one's not like front loaded with the most hype like Dokkan Fest ones but I kind of get it right because these part two LRs it makes sense for them to be together because they are based around like the two separate openings it would have seemed like a very weird pairing if part one had started and we'd gotten say for example the Z LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and then like Carnival LR Kid Gohan I think that would have been very odd and a bit uh, thrown quite a few people off so I think it works okay in this format we'll see what they do going forward I'm assuming the worldwide download celebration they will do the same as the previous uh, format once again so these are the splash images for the two banners obviously we don't know what the rest of the featured units are going to be but with these carnival exclusive banners five featured lrs the other couple of featured units will just be random TURs, which at this point we don't really have much of an idea. But Carnival banners are pretty good for these multiple featured LRs. The 3 plus 1 multis is obviously very good. And then of course remember the fact that throughout the first part of the anniversary, by doing all the missions, login, bonuses, all that kind of stuff, we have been getting those rainbow tickets that once the part two banners go live, those tickets will become live and you can use those on any of the four banners, right? So you can use them on either of the carnival banners or you can use them on either of the part one banners that will still be up. So we'll go ahead and have a brief look at the headliners here. I obviously did do a breakdown video for these units. So if you want to check that out, um, Obviously, you can see the full details. Uh, I know the private server showcases are up for them already. So when it comes to the Goku, uh, he leads Turtle School 200%. Um, remember that that team essentially can be built to just be full Goku because almost every single Goku in the game is on Turtle School. So that team in and of itself will just be really, really strong, right? If you just build all the best Gokus in the game, essentially. But this guy has guard for six turns from the start of the turn. Uh, he builds up defense incredibly quickly. He stacks defense on his 18 key super. Um, once he has received uh, five attacks, 
he gets an extra 59% defensive buff. Um, I've seen screenshots of him after getting that fifth attack, even only on like, you know, his third appearance, for example, having like six, seven, eight hundred K defense. So his defense is his strength. In the early turns, uh, I've seen, I think, in the Rainbow Link Level 10 showcase, he's hitting like five to six million attack stats. But once he takes the ninth attack, he gets a 120 percent attack buff and then I believe on the turn after that even though there was a lot of support on the rotation he was then hitting like well over 10 million so this is a unit that starts off very very strong defensively um, not putting out like super crazy impressive attack stats until a little bit later on but he is going to be very very powerful as a defensive unit in those first couple of turns so Goku definitely interesting as a solo Goku technically even though you know the others are in the card I do think this is the better way of doing these kind of units just like the carnival Goku that's about to come out on global because it doesn't mess up their links and their categories I mean he has kind of weird links for a Goku anyway but it doesn't mess up the categories right so he's on pure Saiyan Goku family Kamehameha obviously Turtle School Bond of Friendship Bond of Parent and Child <laughs> Earthbred fight. Warriors raised on Earth. Uh, power of Wishes, so he is on the new LRs from Part 1's team. Uh, he is on full power, which is a team that could always use some extra buffs. So yeah, Goku definitely seems like a very, very strong unit. Um, and then we, of course, have the Gohan. Uh, Gohan is a Bond of Master and Disciple lead for 3 key and 200%. He infinitely stacks attack and defense on his 18 key super, and he has two different unit super attacks, both of which have the same effect, which is they greatly raise attack, which is still an infinite stack, and then raise defense as well. Um, you can trigger this with a Goku, Krillin, Yamcha, Tien, or Piccolo, so very, very easy to get a unit with him that's going to trigger his unit super considering his leader skill as well so another very good unit both of these guys get tons of key uh from the from the beginning for the first few turns eight key in fact so very difficult to even miss their 18 key super um enemies that have been hit by his 18 key super he gets 30 percent damage reduction against them and both of his unit supers are aoe's so in events where there are multiple enemies whether it's super battle road or you know the red zone uh, red ribbon army red zone has a couple of stages where you fight multiple enemies his unit super because it will hit all of the enemies that effect then applies so he has damage reduction from each of those enemies the damage reduction doesn't go higher than 30 percent um, because it's only his 18 key super that grants the effect anyway but if there are multiple enemies he gets that effect against all of them so obviously that is pretty useful um now when he receives his fifth attack he gets an attack buff and then when he gets his eighth attack he gets a guaranteed additional super so obviously uh, if you're able to get some hits in with him early on and get that guaranteed super the uh, unfortunately the 12 key is only a normal raises attack it's not an infinite stack so you can't make him stack any faster but remember both of these units have an active skill um this guy goku's is the spirit bomb massively raise attack temporarily ultimate damage and all attacks are crits so the spirit bomb will guaranteed crit and any other attacks for that turn will be crits and then gohan's is raise attack temporarily ultimate damage and effective against all types now because goku uh, gohan is stacking attack you can build his attack up high enough that then his active skill will do really good damage plus it's going to be effective against all types so you can end up seeing this hit incredibly hard right so uh, both of these guys look very good. They have wonky links uh, a little bit, but you can build around that fairly easily. I will do another video like I did for the part one LRs going over the best link partners for them on some of their teams. Um, but both of these units definitely seem very strong. I wouldn't say either of them are like must have units, but then, you know, there's a discussion to be had really about is any unit a must have unit. But they are easily top 10 uh, units in the game, potentially even top five. I'd have to see more of them to know for sure. But these two units are definitely very very good and then of course the great thing about carnival banners we have all these other lrs featured now we're going to see the first return of the tech carnival goku and the uh, physical metal cooler so tech carnival goku again probably still easily like a top 10 unit right he's still basically a must run on all of his teams at least for me right when it comes to team building um he, very very good unit very good defensively in slot one uh, getting hit first gives him extra attack and effective against all types so he's actually able to hit 
re relatively hard as well. And then, of course, he does have the revival, which is very easy to get to, right? Re uh, when it's when you're below 59% um, uh, or less HP. Um, and he loses his guard to make it a bit easier for him to die and you to get that revive. But his revive covers the whole rotation anyway. So his revive is very, very good. Uh, he is a very good unit. Um, so him finally coming back on the banner, that means he will be available with Carnival Coins. And then Metal Cooler on the other banner, obviously he is still very good as well. Wicked Bloodline, probably at the moment the best extreme team. Um, obviously, I know one of the reasons why people are, were disappointed with the choices for these Part 2 LRs is because we're not getting any Extreme Team buffs. So, the Cooler Team, whether it's the build with STR LR Final Form Cooler as the leader, so you can bring other non-Wicked Bloodline units, or just the Wicked Bloodline team with this Metal Cooler lead, probably still the best Extreme Team. This guy's still very, very good. Um, again, I'd have to see the performance of the new LRs to really know the new standing, but... This guy, maybe maybe he's now just dropped out of the top 10, but he's still very, very good. So these guys coming back for the first time on these banners is pretty big. And then when we look at the other, I picked out one or two, because the Go this banner with the Goku, so this is on the, um, the actual Goku banner, right? It has the Carnival Goku, but we also have the uh, Goku and Gohan. And this unit, they are still pretty good. I've seen a lot of people saying that, these guys are basically dead now, but I don't really agree with that, right? They, these guys fit into that slot like many units do now, where their defense is able to get up to the level where they're, they're going to tank normals from most of these big red zone bosses. Um, but then they'll just get incinerated by a super attack, which, you know, it's unfortunate, but there's a lot of units that fit into that um, slot nowadays. Um, and this unit, very good, good links, works well on teams. Like I say, not like a top tier unit anymore, but if you don't have this unit or you, you know, don't have dupes in them or whatever, pulling them from the banner is not going to be a, uh, it's not a terrible pull, shall we say. And then on the Gohan banner, we have AGL Golden Freezer. So we already talked about how the Wicked Bloodline or, you know, Final Form Coolers team is still one of the best extreme teams. This guy's still a top pick for those teams, especially in short events where he won't have enough turns passed for him to lose the majority of his damage reduction. Um, and of course, the trade off with him compared to like the TUR Golden Freezers is that this guy can actually hit really hard as well. Um, so this guy, definitely a very, very good unit. If you're summoning because you really want Metal Cooler as well or to pick up dupes with coins, uh, this guy, of course, makes another really, really good unit on that team. And then, of course, his banner also has the Zamasu, um, who is still... Uh, Zamasu is one of those units that he came out, he's very, very good. He still never really got his true chance to shine, right? Because he got a 200% lead with Vegeta and Trunks. But then a lot of the units that you want to run with him to activate all his links and everything don't have a 200% lead. So when they finally drop a 200% uh, lead, like a new Goku Black or a new Zamasu, then this guy could definitely shine once again. So him being featured on the banner is definitely very good. So looking back, we have the two banners. Um, overall, in terms of the quality considering that super type units are usually more popular and the super teams usually get the most support the goku banner probably is better i think goku probably is slightly better than gohan from what i've seen um, again just from the initial showcases so the fact that this banner has this goku and carnival goku uh, tech carnival goku if you're missing both of these gokus and you pull both of them from summoning these are two incredibly good defensive units that will work on a ton of your super class teams. So I think the Goku banner is definitely better. Now, when it comes to summon or skip, um, you know, people's mentality about the part two banners is often quite different. Like I said, these units are not must have units. There are a bunch of teams that they're not on that people like to run like Super Saiyans and Power Beyond Super Saiyan, those kind of things. But these two units are very, very good. Um, we have the rainbow tickets. We have three plus one. Obviously, because it's a JP, there won't be any like purchasable ticket packs. Um, but when it comes to summon or skip, I think if you are missing, especially the Metal Cooler or the Tech Carnival Goku, um, it's definitely worth throwing some multis at this, right? Because we've gotten a decent amount of stones throughout the anniversary. It's three plus one summons. Remember when these banners go live, the three plus one on the uh, actual part one banners will have ended. In fact, they might have already ended by the time this video goes up. I know we're into the final, uh, final hours pretty much at this point, so... 
You guys will have to let me know what you think down below. Um, I think when it comes to these Carnival LRs, the LRs themselves are really good. Uh, they both have a couple of featured LRs on their banner that are also really good. So I do think these banners are good to summon on. If you're someone who is free to play and doesn't spend a lot, if you haven't pulled both of the Part 1 LRs, um, I would recommend still trying to get them. Maybe use your uh, rainbow tickets on those banners. Um, and then if you want to throw some stones at these banners, go ahead. Um, but yeah, I do think these units are going to be very good. Goku especially, I think is definitely worth summoning for. And Gohan, I do think he is very good. But I think he's the more skippable one out of the two. So if you're free to play or don't spend much, you know, there's not going to be another banner coming out as part of the anniversary as far as we know. I mean, they could change it up, but we've never had uh, an anniversary where they brought out a third banner, like a third set of banners in part three or the EX part. But remember that if we go by last year, JP will get their first non-anniversary uh, Dokkan Fest, like basically right when the anniversary ends, um, which is when AGL Captain Ginyu came out. And that's when we could finally see an extreme buff with an extreme character Dokkan Fest. So bear that in mind if you're free to play or don't spend very much you've already pulled both both of the part one lrs i think it kind of depends how many stones you have left but especially if you are missing this tech carnival goku then throwing some summons at this banner after you've used your rainbow tickets i think is still a pretty solid idea so let me know what you guys are planning to do down below like i said i will be live streaming it'll be a little bit after the banners have come out but then i guess that puts me in a good spot i suppose because i'm not competing with everybody else streaming at the same time but do come and check that out i'm gonna have a pretty busy night because i'll be summoning on jp and then a couple of hours after that the carnival goku banner on global comes out so gonna be a very busy morning for me uh, hopefully i will see you at one or both of the streams because i will be streaming summons for both versions of the game so uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on these units. Are you summoning? How deep? Are you going crazy? Do you just want to try and get one copy? Let me know down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.